so hello guys welcome back to my channel today we will create the simple spin the bottle game in flutter so when we click this image right over here it will spin into a random direction so let's get to it so first of all we will create a new flutter project for that i will do that through terminal spin the bottle so, so i will use spin the bottle and we will create that once that project is creation is done i will open it okay spin the bottle and open let me close that so guys last time the text size was a little bit smaller so i'll try to make sure that text size this time is good enough and please share your feedback in the comments i really appreciate it okay so we have this now first of all we will get rid of this code which is not required and even with this one we don't need this okay so first of all we will create a state full i'm sorry state full widget i'm going to call it home page let me get the dependencies if there is any problem ignore okay so we have the home page we have the stateful widget created as well so first of all we would try to understand what this is okay so this particular if we look at this we can understand this is basically a stack of two images one is the background image one is the image of the portal okay so how we are going to stack these images using stack right so i will start with a scaffold if you want uh, you don't have to use a scaffold um, then we will go to the body in the body we will need a container we can use or we can directly use this tag there is no requirement for container yet in the children's we will use container two container will be there the first one is the bat and the second one is the bottle itself so in the first container we will say child and we will say image dot assets so right now we don't have that assets images right over here so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get them through my last project. I'm just going to copy them. You can copy them from your, you know, explorer or finder. Create a new directory. I'm going to name it assets and paste it. Now, we need to make this accessible as well. So we will go to perpspec.yaml. Over there, we will uncomment this uncomment this and slash so that we can access all the files inside the assets and we will click packages.get it is done now we will come back over here and we will type assets slash uh, the name of this is floor.jpg so we will type floor.jpg okay next we will add this image dot asset we will say assets slash bottle dot png okay so we have assigned the images but if you want to understand right now we for example let, let's just run it okay so that you can see what is happening right now we have assigned the images but what will happen is this particular image dimension, if, uh, let me show you, is a rectangular image, right? But the dimension of our screen is actually a vertical direction. So what will happen, it will not be able to occupy all the space. So how can we make sure that it does? By providing it a height and a fill property to the image. So just waiting for a second or two to let it load. In the meanwhile, let, let's just assign that height to it. Media query dot off context dot size dot height. What is media query and all? This basically gives us the height of the, you know, con, uh, basically the device which is right. So media query dot off context dot size dot height. We have the height. Now what we will do? We will make sure to give it a fit property. In fit property, uh, we will say box fit dot there are multiple properties available we will use fill and when i will save this you can see it is covering the whole <laughs> right now the image 
size of the bottle is quite large so we have a property in image which is width so we will provide it width to be 250 you can change it according to your requirements so we have width we have height 250 okay correct right now the uh, the place of the bottle is at the top left corner we want that to be center so i'm gonna wrap it with the center widget okay so right now we have what it looks like but now we want the animation so for to use the animation we use something called ticker now what is a ticker ticker is basically an object that generates repeated callback at a uniform interval so how we use ticker we will write with we will say ticker provided state mixing it will create a ticker for us and then we will come over here because we want to rotate this okay so uh, in short we want to pro, uh, provide this a uh, rotate transition to our image how we are going to do that we are going to surround this uh, let me select image and widget i'm going to say it a ro um, yeah rotation transition rotation transition it will have a property of turns okay and in that we will use tween now what is tween tween is the simplest animation it have two properties one is the begin and another one is the end so it was uh, by tween we are basically telling uh, that at what place we want our animation to start or our rotation for rotation transition rotation to start and at what place the rotation should stop okay so you can do it one way one way is basically providing the begin value as 0, 0.0 so all the time our you know the rotation transition will start from zero so for example if it has been rotated till this place it will first go at 0, 0 and then will start the animation but that doesn't look the best so for this what we will do we will create a variable and uh, i'm going to call it last position and initially it will be 0, 0.0 okay but when we will generate a new random number so right now to generate a new random number what we will do we will have variable random is equals to new random random okay uh, it will auto import this if you are using vs code if not importing you can basically type it out import dot dot map okay so next up we will basically create a very simple function which is void because it's not going to return uh, sorry it's going to return a value um, so we are going to call it um, get random number okay and we are going to return random dot next double why i'm using next double because that's the requirement for this okay it takes the two index uh, parameter as double okay so we will provide the and as random get random number okay now just a second okay so we have the and property we have the begin property now as i said we don't want this to begin at 0.0, .0 every single time so what we will do we will basically take this last position and whenever we are generating a new random number we will save that new random number to last position and return the last position done okay so we are returning the last position over here we are getting that position we are we will have this as a last position so let me close that now right now you can see this is an error because um the turns take animation as a property not tween so we will write dot animation and this will be a new curved uh, let me type it out here new curved animation okay now curved animation takes two properties parent and curve so curve is basically there are many kinds of curve which you can play with as well i will usually uh, right now go with linear for this pro uh, project for the parent parent takes an animated controller so basically uh, we use animated controller to provide the duration for our animation as well as the ticker 
So we have defined the ticker, but to use that we will be doing it like this way animation controller animation controller Okay, we will be defining it. So when should we define it? We will define it in in its state So if you understand the life cycle and all then you can understand whenever our app start This is the one which will be called so at that particular moment of time We will define animation controller is equals to animation controller and uh, it will ask vsync so we will say this okay then it will uh, have duration property we will say duration i'm going to provide it in seconds you can use millisecond microsecond as you require or as your desire seconds i will use it for one second and end okay so that is done uh, there is one error okay that is not required that is required yeah. okay once that is done you will say animation controller dot forward what is forward forward is basically to start it in short so there are different options you can go for forward forward means that our animation will run and it will stop once it is ended there is another property which is repeat so our as it says like the our animation will be repeatedly running for this we want forward now we don't want this to only uh, when we start the app but actually when we click on it so i'm going to cut it from this place create a function for this i'll call it spin the bottle and i'm going to write it over here i'm going to copy this now what i want i want this when i click on this image so there is our image we will add a rib widget which is will going to be gesture detector we will say on tap in on tap we will firstly see if our animation is already running because we don't want that our animation is running and you are able to you know rerun it or something so we will check if this is completed if it is completed then we will say set state and spin the bottle okay so why i use this condition to make sure if our bottle is already spinning we don't want to run it again okay so for the major part i believe things are done and let me go through it once so we have provided duration we have uh, uh, so our app it will not run when we start but actually when we click on the image and we have the last position random number animate okay over it parent we will say animation controller anything missing um, I feel it's done let me run it again so it is saying parent should not be null for animation Okay, so new animation we have parent animation controller. Okay, so it should be defined actually. So let me copy that at least this much. We may not want to like start it when it's running the app for the first time, but we should have it. So now it is saying is a not a subtype of double. So dynamic. Um, actually, the problem which we were facing that animated evaluation dynamic is not a subtype of animation double. So over in the type of uh, in tween sorry uh, in and we have to provide a double value right but it is kind of a dynamic right now because we haven't defined it so what we have to do we basically have to type the return type which it have and uh, it will be done so I will just restart the app and you can see because uh, in the init option we have we are calling this function which is a spin the bottle so it is spinning when the app starts and if I click on the image it is spinning in a random direction a random value at a random angle okay so it's successfully done if you like the video make sure to leave a like and if you want more tutorials like this make sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one